Having your own website is absolutely crucial these days. And although a lot of people get hung up on this step, I'm gonna prove to you in this video how easy and cheap it is to set up your own website in less than eight minutes. So I have my heavy duty timer that I have in the bottom left of my screen here. I'm gonna press the start button when this video resumes and I'm gonna show you how you can get this all done in less than eight minutes and better yet, it's all gonna be done for less than $10 per month. Your first step is to set up an account at a domain registrar. My favorite is called namesilo.com. So if you do a Google search for namesilo, you'll find it as the first result. Once you get to name silo, the first thing you need to do is create a new account. So you come in here to the create a new account option, which is found at the top right here. If you click on that, you're gonna to wanna to fill in all this information with your username, password, recovery question, address. When you get to the bottom, you just click on the I accept the name silo terms and conditions, and you wanna create your new account. Once you have your account set up with name silo, the next thing you want to do is register the domain you're going to use in your hosting. So you click on the register button and then you click for an option of a domain that you want to use. Now name silo has this useful tool here where it says multiple domain search. So lots of times domains are taken up. This gives you an opportunity to list maybe your top 10, top 20 domain choices and it'll tell you which domain options are available and which ones are already taken. For this video, I'm going to call my domain the 8-Minute Blog and we'll see if that one's available. 8-Minute Blog and we're going to click on the search option. So again, you can see that this is already registered, which just gives you an idea of how many domain names are already taken. So I'm going to go back into my bulk checker here down at the bottom and I'm going to click a bunch of different options. So 8-Minute blogs, eight minute websites, um, eight minute blog. So we'll have a few options in here. And you can see all these other options. We do have the .com available. So I'm gonna click on the eight minute blogs. That's the one that I'm going to register as my domain name. So I'm gonna click on the register checked domains. Once I click on the register check domains, I just have to go through the payment process. I'm going to register for just a year for now. If I have a coupon code, which can be found online, then you can save a little bit of money that way. Click on the continue button. I'm going to check out with PayPal because that's my favorite payment processor of choice. I click in here to log into PayPal and continue and I accept the terms and conditions and place my order with name silo. So this should come out any second now, perfect. So I now have my domain name registered. Once you have your domain name registered, your next step is to set up web hosting. Now my favorite web hosting service that I've ever used is HostGator and I've used a bunch of them. But when it comes to customer service and reliable hosting, I've never found one that I've been as impressed with as HostGator. So right here we need to go to HostGator either through Google or through the address bar above and you want to click on get started now. HostGator is going to then offer you three different plans. I highly recommend the baby plan because for most of you, the business plan is completely unnecessary and the hatchling plan is too limited. So I'm going to sign up with the baby plan. The first option it tells you choose a domain. So register a new one or I already own this domain. We already picked up our domain from Name Silo, which I don't have time to discuss in this video, but it's really important that you sign up through a domain registrar instead of your hosting account. So once you've picked your plan, the baby, and let's say we go to three months, and we're gonna enter our username and fill out the rest of this information. I'm gonna pay for my hosting with PayPal, but you can definitely do it with a credit card as well. I don't re recommend any of these additional services because they're really just a waste of money. Now here's where you can actually save a bit of money. I'm gonna provide a coupon code that you can use that'll save you 25% off your hosting bill. So the coupon code is called get 25 
off your bill. So if you type in get 25 off your bill and you click on validate, it's going to take 25% off the total cost of your bill. So in this case, for three months of web hosting under the HostGator baby plan, I can get for $22.39. Click on the I have read the terms of service and I'm going to check out now. The next step that you need to do is you need to go back into your domain registrar and change the name servers for the domain that you registered. So this is really easy to do, but basically what you're telling them, the domain registrar, is where you're hosting your website. So where it says name server one and name server two and all the way down, HostGator is going to provide you an email where they're going to tell you where their name servers are hosted for your hosting account. So you want to copy those name servers and plug them into your domain registrar. So once you have these copied and pasted into your domain registrar, you'll be ready to set up WordPress on your domain. So once you save those name servers on your name silo account, now you need to go into your HostGator cPanel and look for where it gives you an option to install WordPress. So for right here, it's at the top of the page. It says get started with WordPress. You want to click that option and you want to click on continue and you want to find the blog that you want to install. In this case, it's 8-Minute Blogs. Then you just need to enter in your email address, the blog title that you want to use, 8-Minute Blogs admin all right so after we fill in this information click on the install now option it's just going to take a little bit of time and boom now we have our installation of wordpress ready to go once wordpress is fully populated HostGator is going to provide you with the URL to your WordPress dashboard. You want to click on that and enter in the username and password provided. Once you enter your WordPress dashboard, there's a couple of aesthetic things you want to do. First of all, you want to have a theme uploaded onto your blog. So you want to head over to Appearance on the left side here, click on Themes, and pick one of the free themes that WordPress provided for you. And I repeat, all of these are completely free. Once you're ready, then you want to add your first post to the blog. So you want to come up with a title for your post. In this case, it's just going to be the title of the blog. Enter in some text. And if you want to add an image here, you just click on the Add Media option. Find a file from your media gallery and click Insert into Post. Once you're all ready, you click on the Publish button and you have fully completed the blog with your first post installed. With about a half a second to spare, here's the WordPress site I created in about 8 minutes. When you click on the continue reading link on the home page, it's going to take you to the WordPress post that I created in the final few seconds of the video. So you can see the text here and the image that I uploaded just in the last couple seconds before the time expired. So the first time that you create a website, it may take you a little bit longer than 8 minutes, but know that if you follow the steps in this video, it's really not going to take you that long at all to completely go through the process. And once you do it one or two times, this thing is all going to become a piece of cake for you. Hey folks, it's Brendan here, and in the video you're watching right now, I want to show you how I increased my traffic by over 600% in the last three or four months by only using 